What's going on guys, Fader Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. I recently got my wisdom teeth taken out, so I might sound a little different today, but that doesn't mean I gotta stop, so I'm gonna just keep going and keep uploading. We're gonna be doing a mid taper today, and starting off with the back and our gold FX, balding him out and creating our first guideline. Now that we're done creating our first guideline, we're gonna debulk the back and the sides with the foreguard all the way open. Don't forget to always feed the hair into the clipper with your comb. Now we're moving on to the side. Make sure you don't cut into the hairline. You want to be very careful when you get into the edge. Now that we're done debulking the sides, we're going to go ahead and switch over to our clipper over comb method and continue to blend in the weight. When the blade is tilted vertically, I am blending, and when the blade is tilted horizontally, I am debulking. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I am in a little bit of pain because I got my wisdom teeth taken out, but it's okay. That doesn't mean I gotta stop uploading. We're moving on to the back taper. I started off by creating our first guideline with our gold FX and then debulking with the three guard all the way open. Now we're using our no guard all the way open and creating our second guideline. Using the lever midway and all the way closed will help you erase that initial guideline you created with your trimmers. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we're going to move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. With this same guard, you're going to soften up the line and get ready for the half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we're going to switch over to our half guard and erase the line completely. little bit more detail work with our half guard and our no guard all the way open. Using our two guard all the way open, we're going to create another guideline and get ready for the one and a half guard. Now we're going to switch over to our one and a half guard and erase the line completely.
Your one guard and half guard are very important in blending the fade. Now using our three guard all the way open, we're gonna create another guideline and this guideline will help us blend into the bulk. Before we do the neckline, we're going to debulk with our clipper of a comb method and then line them up with our coat effects. I always like to start off in the bottom of the neckline and work my way to the top, just like how I line up my C cups. Moving on to the side taper, we're going to start off with our goat FX and create a rainbow shaped guideline. Before we go in with our low guards, we're going to go ahead and deep bulk with our three guard all the way open. Using the no guard all the way open, we're going to continue with that same rainbow shape. Using the lever midway and all the way close will help you erase that initial guideline. Using our one guard all the way open, we're going to go ahead and get ready for the half guard. Now we're going to continue to erase the line with the half guard all the way open. With our two guard all the way open, we're going to create another guideline and get it ready for the one and a half guard. Now using the one and a half guard, we're going to erase the line completely.
we're doing some detail work with our half guard all the way open. We're gonna move on to a C cup. We're gonna start off on the bottom of the curve and work our way to the top. Before we line up his front hinge, we're going to go ahead and trim with our shears. He usually likes a half an inch taken out, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to start off in the middle and create our first guideline. Now we're following that same guideline we made in the middle and connecting it to the sides. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. I'm starting to notice a lot more people commenting and liking the videos, and I love it. All right, now that the hairs are all the way laid down, we're gonna start off with our code effects in the middle of the lining and work our way to the left. With this texture hair, you always want to make sure you comb the hair down, then you use your tools. Comb the hair down and then use your tools. You always want to make sure the hair is nice and laid down. We're gonna do a little bit of detail work on the side right here just to make sure the hair is nice and smooth. Using our Turkish razor and Derby Premium blades, we're going to make him as crispy as possible. We're also going to do his eyebrows. 